Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mr. Osorio. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, teacher. Uh, I'm just finished to do some errands in the Aramol and I need to come back home and I'm gonna drive. I still listen. Just let me know as soon as you get home so I can include you in the activities we are gonna be performing, okay? Thank you, teacher. We apologize. No problem, no problem. That's why we're here. Thank you. No problem, my friend.
Let's see, Chanira, hello, good evening, how are you? Hello, teacher. Don't tell me you are busy. <laughs> of course, teacher, all the time. Come on, where are you? Home? Yes, at home, but uh, I still working. Okay, are you gonna participate tonight? Uh, maybe later, teacher, yes, of course. Okay, let me know, please. Okay, okay, of course. Thank you. Martha, hello. Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I'm good, teacher. What about you? Well, you know, here, what can I tell you? Let working. me see, working, working, yeah. um, hard working. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's life, part of life, you know. Happen, happen. <laughs> yeah, we study a lot, we prepare a lot, and then we end up being slaves of the job. Ah. But what can we do? What about do you it? study? What do you study? Well, I am an English teacher, and right now I am studying another career. Oh. I am studying for a which career? A bachelor in school administration. Oh, it's a how do you say licenciatura teacher? Yep. Okay. And yeah, that's why I'm gonna be a bachelor. Well, if I finish. Oh. Just two years. Writer. Yeah, just two years. Yes. In the first year is the more difficult, but when do you think uh, one year more? Yeah. Is no, I mean yeah, pass. the good thing is the good thing is this that the career is actually five years. But oh. uh do you have an equivalence? Yep, exactly. They take into okay. an account the subjects from the previous career. And oh, it's a good opportunity. Happen. Yeah, and after that, I'm planning on a master's. But I want a master's in, in stylistics. Oh. Nice teacher. We will see. We will see. <laughs> we will see. You know, it requires it's, time. It's good for your career. Yeah, it requires time, and I mean, you need to be focused and money. Yeah, obviously, but it's very yeah. important. The, the the good thing board. is that my son is in his third year at the university, so oh, he's he's very good. Yeah, he's gonna finish soon. <laughs> what about you, Martha? Come on, you made me Teacher. talk about me. I want to hear you talking. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's good to listen to you. Uh, today was a very day tired, but uh, you know, the same routine, uh, some calls, some cases, uh, but Everything was okay. I am finished my work. I am ready for the class. Okay, well, that's cool. Welcome to the class. We are ready Thank for you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Jose Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, so far so good. Okay, and tell me. What's new? How was your day? Well, I got a, I got a good news yesterday because uh, today I began my my vacation. Oh really? Yep. So I will be resting for fifteen days. So that's gonna be good for me. Hey, yeah, I can imagine. Tell me, how many of those days are you going to the beach? 
Uh, maybe the weekend to share. Mm, that's nice. I mean, it's always cool to go and enjoy. Yeah, yeah. I will enjoy uh, a lot of time with my family and some family of my wife. Oh, really? On some of my wife's relatives. Okay. Some of my wife's Son of my wife's relative. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. Okay. Oh, the same way as the other time, one day with one family, next day with the other one. Uh, I couldn't hear you. Teacher. Is it going to be the same as last time, one day with one family, and the next day with the other one, or all together? Oops, I guess we're having problems with Jose Wifredo. Don't worry, Jose Wifredo. We will talk later. Do you hear me now, teacher? Now I do. Okay, okay. So <clears throat> I'm planning go to week. Uh, I'm planning go to the beach on weekend with some relative of my wife. And then maybe Sunday, I will go with uh, some friends. Okay, well, that's nice. <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah, that's gonna be going. Uh, today, I just say rest. No, where are you going to the beach? Which oh, beach? Uh, the Saturday to Las Veraneras. On Saturday? On Saturday. So uh, we are going to Las Veraneras. And Sunday, and on Sunday, we are going to La Costa del Sol. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to have fun. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. That's yeah. nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Um, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow I will go to to um uh, how do you say that uh, a ranch can be a, yeah it could say, be okay I will go to the ranch of my wife as uh, my Wi-Fi my wife. My wife, grandmothers. Okay. Yeah. Um, but like um, at 9 a.m. and we don't have any hours to return or to come back, to coming back. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Then, I don't so know you're going to have fun. Well, yeah, take, yeah. A, take advantage of the time you got and rest. Yeah, that's right. Sure. And, and also, I need to cover some, some business too. That's why I'm not planning a lot. Yeah, I mean, you know, we always need to be on the move. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's money related. It's pretty important. Mm -hmm. Well, let's hope everything turns out okay, according to your plans, my friend. Welcome to the class. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jose Wilfredo. Let's Thank see. You. Francisco. Thank you for Hello, Francisco. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Today you are working, right? You all got the afternoon shift. I hear you pretty far away. Sorry, <laughs> teacher. I am in the inside of the cabin. Sorry, teacher. In your cabin? Yeah, I am. My cabin. 
Okay. Don't okay. worry, don't worry. We can talk later, Francisco. Yes, each other. Thank you. No problem, no problem. You're welcome. Let's see, where's Ana Claudia? I could have sworn I saw Ana Claudia around. Hi, teacher. I'm Hello, here. Ana Claudia. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you very much for asking. This was a kind of, uh, do you hear me? Yep. Ah, okay. This was uh, a kind of busy day because um, once uh, in a year, we have like, uh, it's like a convention, but due to the pandemic thing, uh, is uh, um, I think that's uh, a benefit, that benefit, uh, ¿Cómo puedo decir que no benefició? No puedo, eh, como benefit. It benefited us. Ah, ok. It benefited. Uh -huh. Yes, as a team in Latin America, because most of the time these conventions were in person, in a different place, et cetera, et cetera, with great speakers and stuff like that. But due to pandemic, last year they made it uh, online and it's an RKO, it's a revenue kickoff. Uh, we have one every day, but with our managers and it's like half an hour, between half an hour and 45 minutes. But today I started the annual and there, there will be, there are two days that we are all connected. We stop whatever we are doing and we try to for example, if we are getting calls, we try to um, schedule a call back as soon as possible in order to hear everything. And today was the first day we were attending that uh, meeting from noon to 5 p.m. And there were two speakers that they, I think they, they, they were amazing. I, I didn't hear before of this uh, basketball player. His name is um, uh, Damian Lee. And he, I don't remember if he plays for Warriors. No, I don't remember. NBA, I don't remember. The thing is that to hear that humble boy talking about how he trains on a daily basis, uh, all what he, um, pass through in order to be a star right now because he was explaining that uh, on the NBA there are just 450 players but there are thousands of thousand people applying every time and the way how he got there it was he was uh, the, the way how he was expressing uh, his step and, and empowering us as a salespeople in order to not give up and you always have to invest in you. That, that, that was one of the, he was one of the speakers today. And the second one, it was a doctor, a doctor named Dr. Cindy. And this woman is like the name in all the US, like the first lady in sales. Wow, to hear this woman, it's like she, uh, transmit the energy it's like electricity <laughs> and make you to think that you need to create your own brand but your brand is your brain first start with your brain your mind it, it was making a i don't know how to say magistral um magister magistral as is opposed to yeah magister okay magistral uh, no magister Magister speech, okay? And we were like, wow. And so the company always tried. Last year, it was so amazing too because we were talking with, I don't remember the name, it was an astronaut. An astronaut. And, and the way he was explaining how the, the earth looks from the moon and he was showing pictures, wow. And you hear all these people and you have the opportunity to ask something that you want to know is, is amazing. So today was kind of busy day because we had to hurry up in the morning before stay connected because you, if it's possible, you must eat in front of your computer because it's um, speech over another speech and there are news for the company, for the product. 
a lot of stuff happens. So tomorrow we must be connected from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. Those are two days, once in a year, that we learn a lot. Mm -hmm. okay, excellent. Glad to hear mm -hmm. it. Yes, yes. You know, I was uh, there was a quote that, that I brought uh, that I love to hear for, from this man. And he said that the best advice he got is this one. When people show you their true colors, you cannot repaint them. That is what he said. I love that quote. <laughs> and I grow it. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So, Alana Claudia, welcome and thank you for sharing with us. Such a nice <laughs> thank you, experience. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, guys, sorry to interrupt, but I need to get the attendance. Amarelia Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Just write it in one second. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Belmen Frank Figueroa Peñate. Okay. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Teacher. Janira Elisa. Yes. Yeah, I, need, I need to tell you that I am going to be in a mirror in the church. If I no don't participate, no problem, no problem. I, but Just I am going to hear you. Okay. 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 Thank you. Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Okay, guys. Now just let me check on something to see that everything is on the up and up. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Excellent. Well, let's continue. I still got people. Uh, to talk to, let's see who else is around. So, Maria Alejandra, hello, how are you? Hello, Peter. I'm fine, and you? Just fine, just fine. Okay, it's good. What about you? What did you do today? <laughs> in today, in the morning, I stay in my granny house, and return to the apartment at noon and I have a lot of cases in the platform in the afternoon. I feel very tired. Mm, I don't have idea mm, why the reason because I, I have a lot of uh, sleep or uh -huh. And I don't oh, know. You slept, you, slept, you slept a lot. Uh -huh. 
I mean, I have a typical uh, um, in the afternoon, but the reason is that I have a lot of, uh, ¿qué sería? Me estaba durmiendo. <laughs> oh, really? You were sleepy? Uh -huh, I were sleep and I try to drink water. I try to be, de, eat a different things. I try to stand up and nada funcionó. <laughs> oh, come on. Yes, teacher, I have a very difficult in the afternoon. And the problem is I have a lot of cases. <laughs> But oh, but you were too late. Yeah, sometimes that happens. You know, it happens to me with the weather. Uh -huh. When the weather changes from cold to hot, man, I get so sleepy. I mean, uh, the the I don't know, how do you call that in English? Sorry, oh, sorry. The Yeah, got it. Sorry. No, no uh -huh. Yes, but I don't know. I hope to my day uh, tomorrow is my day off. I hope to uh, take a nap or I don't know. Uh, when my when I think it, I don't. When I thought. When I thought. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking, you say. Uh huh. You're referring to the past? No, when I will or no, I, para mañana. Oh, for tomorrow, yeah. Uh huh, Future. for tomorrow, uh huh. You can say when uh, I'm thinking. Uh -huh. When I will thinking and then tomorrow um, don't connect is make me happy. <laughs> ah, don't connect to the job. Uh -huh, class, right? Yeah, because I was oh, like, no. I was like, uh, you know, no, oh, yeah, boy. tomorrow is the day not going to San Salvador, right? <laughs> yes, it's forbidden going to San Salvador, but tomorrow. only in the afternoon. In the morning, I don't drive a lot. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, let's see. <laughs> What do I got to do tomorrow? And I ain't got nothing to go to San Salvador, so no worry for me. <laughs> it's good, but I, but I, a good driver teacher. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Mira, Hilda, welcome. You're welcome. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ambar, hello, Ambar. Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm just fine. What about you? How did it go today? My day was busy and actually I, I am very tired and sleepy. <laughs> oh, really? Tell me, were yes. there sales? Yes, I... I have a good day with my sales. Oh, okay, and okay. Thanks God. And vacation, vacation is just around the corner, right? Yes, uh, my vacation is the next Monday. Okay, vacation is just around the corner. You know, this expression means that your vacation is like almost now. Okay. Okay. Around the corner. Yep. Okay. Thank you for the quote. <laughs> okay. Perfect. And tell me, what's the plan for the vacation? You must got a plan. What you gonna do? Uh, well, now I don't have any plan, but maybe i will go uh, i don't know guatemala but okay. i'm not sure cool. yes i i wish to go panajachel but oh you know, nice yes it's a very beautiful place 
And I remember in my childhood, I went to this place, but maybe I come back. I don't know, how do you say regresar? Go back. Come back, I come back. No, maybe. go back, go back. Go back, ah, sorry. Yeah, because you live I... here, so you go back to a place ah. you visited before, okay? Yeah, 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 yes, yes. I go back, maybe. Okay, that's cool, yeah, it's nice. I like it. I actually, let me see, I have a, I have a cousin who lives on the mountains behind Pana. Man, it's cold. Really? It's just cold, yeah. Yes, uh, in, in my case, I like this weather. Yeah, I prefer cold delicious. weather than uh, warm oh. weather. <laughs> I'm I am totally with you in there, you know. I'm totally with you. The, the last day uh, with uh with how do you say vientos? Wind with uh, the winds is uh, it was uh, cool days. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know, I know. I, they were delicious. I mean, they were, well, I don't know for you, but for me, they were pretty fresh, not really cold in my case, in my personal case. They were fresh. In my case, uh, in the morning, but oh, yeah, the, mornings uh, were nice. the rest of the day is, uh, the, the weather is, um, I don't know, un poco Warm. más. Warm. Warm. Warmer, warmer. Warmer, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you are right. The rest of the day was yeah, kind of crazy, right? Because in the early in the morning, pretty fresh, nice, but around noon, pretty hot, and then around five again, a little bit windy. It was kind of crazy. But that's El Salvador's weather. Yes, exactly. Okay, well, Ambar, a pleasure talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Who else is around? Rebecca, hello, Rebecca, how are you? Nothing. Okay. Let's see. Walter. Hello, Walter. Hello, teacher. How are you, my friend? Oh, everything fine, teacher. It's good. It's a day good. It's a good day? Yes. Nice. 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 So, how's everything? How's the job? A lot of work nowadays? Oh, yes. Yes, at the moment. Uh, I had a lot of work. Um, and we had a uh, planet uh, for a new week, uh, a different, different style and recurrent in my plane. Oh, really? Oh, yes. My boys and and my partners and, and we had a, a meeting for the planet the next week. Uh, for new for new develop uh, and recurring client. Okay, so you're gonna be pretty busy, right? Oh yes. Oh, but that's cool. I mean, more work is always good. Oh yes, for me is uh, is the best. Uh, and I had a lot of work. Yeah, and, of course. Yeah, yes, and no siento cuando pasa el día. How do you say? Yeah, I mean the time flies. Ah, okay. I need time flies. Time 
flies. Oh, yeah. Time oh, flies. yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, I mean, you don't feel it. You don't feel uh, the pass of time. Oh, yes. He's oh, that's good. good. Yeah, sure. Glad to hear that. Walter, welcome to the class. You're welcome, teacher. Frank. Hello, Frank. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, I'm a little bit tired, but I'm I'm fine. You still up in the mountain? Uh, actually, no. I just came to San Salvador. Just oh came man, to my, my so apartment. Yeah, must be hot for you right now. Yeah, a lot. It's a big change. Yeah, <laughs> in, sure. In a small, a small uh, time, right? In short in time. A short time. In a short time. Yeah. In a short time. How, yes. Yes. So. Okay. Tell me, how cold did it get yesterday? Uh, in Chal at in Yeah. Well, uh, during the night it was about between seven and nine degrees, uh, something like that. But you know what? Uh, actually, I don't feel the earthquake <laughs> oh really yesterday yeah i think that it doesn't felt in chalate in in las pilas well that's interesting yeah i i realized just because my family called me at 1 a.m. <laughs> Finding out how were you, right? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Just... To be totally honest with you, I mean, I went to sleep around like quarter to one. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and I was dead to the world, you know? Yeah, me too. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't feel nothing. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, at all, at all. But a lot of people said that it was uh, a little bit strong. higher. I mean, strong, strong, right? Yeah, but as I tell you, uh, I mean, sometimes when I go to sleep, like around that time and I'm already <laughs> tired, I mean, I do sleep deeply. Okay. But your relatives yeah. did. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I don't feel it, they, feel they it? don't either. Yeah, I'm in charge of feeling them. <laughs> okay, okay. So okay. that's a problem. That's a problem when I'm in charge of that. Hey, Brian, welcome okay. to the class. Nice talking thank to you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Roxana, hello. Roxana. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Well, actually, I'm so tired, but everything is okay. Oh, really? Yes. Tell Today, me, how was your day? I took my... Well, my day, it was very busy because I woke up uh, too early because I took my flying from... Quintana Roo to Mexico City, and it was delayed. So I was spend a lot of time in the airport, yeah, around two hours more. And okay. then- How did you like Quintana Roo? Uh, I love Quintana Roo. Mexico I City- told, I told you, I told you. Quintana Roo is one of the most beautiful places in the world for me. Yes, I think that it's similar to Miami, maybe. No, or Miami, San is, Miami is too humid. Miami is What too is humid. Feel? Demasiado húmedo. Yes. You sweat too much, too fast. Yes, I know. But it's beautiful for me too. Yeah, and, and I mean, well, 
it's a matter of taste. For me, uh, Miami, not really. Compared to Quintana Roo, uh, oh my God, she's beautiful. Yeah. It, my, it, it is my top right now. The last time I was thinking that I love um, San Andres, but now I think that Quintana Roo is better than San Andres because uh, in, if we are talking about prices, maybe it's similar, but I think that um, it's easier when you are a uh, move around Quintana Roo uh, than uh, San Andres because uh, yeah. I remember that the, there is you a- could, You could have told me, I got relatives there. You know? Sorry, I tengo mala conexión. You could, you could have told me before. I got relatives there. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I think that I got, I got my a lot of relatives in Quintana in... Roo. Where? Okay. I don't remember the name. It's near to to the coast. I, I was near to El Mirador, El Rey, I guess. Mm, no, 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 no. I will need to check the map in order to remember. Because last time, I mean, last time. Hey, Roxana, that means that. Through the Belize. Roxana, that means that the teacher hadn't talked to his relative like in a long time ago. <laughs> no, I do. The thing is that, uh, yeah. you know, if you ask me about names, if you ask me about names of places, mm. people names, <laughs> and, and dates like birthdays, mm. I don't know. I never remember. Okay, let's say they, Jen. They are very distinguished gentlemen and ladies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I'm not like that. You can, well, I you have been in the rich, in the rich yes. When you refer to Roxana and, and teacher, when you refer to Quintana Roo, I remember Quintana Roo is the name of all the state. But for example, yeah, I went but to we are talking about the Yeah, but we are talking about the, the coast area. Oh, yes, but in, I went to Cancun. I visited Cancun in Quintana Roo. I don't know if which place in Quintana Roo you were staying or visiting, Roxana. Cancun. I was in Cancun. Ah, me too. Well, so beautiful. Yes. <laughs> you become hey, in talking, love with that place. You're talking up there, I mean, uh, but there's places that are nice, like uh, Chetumal is nice. I couldn't visit. Uh, uh, the time wasn't enough. It wasn't enough for me. Couldn't visit. Chetumal is nice. Uh, I went to Isla Mujeres too. Yeah. Cozumel. Isla Mujeres. Cozumel mm -hmm. is beautiful. One thing that I couldn't do is to swim with dolphins. I wanted it, but I promised myself to go back and do it. Yeah. As I tell you, uh, Cozumel is beautiful, but Cozumel is all the way down. Ah, okay. I also got relatives in Cozumel. Hmm. Let's say yes, Roxana. <laughs> no, no, I do, I do, I do. It's okay, I that believe you. The ones, that, the ones that I got in Cozumel are my 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 dad's relatives. Mm. Ah, okay. The ones that I got, uh, actually, I got relatives all the way to Cancun, mm. but those are my mom's side. Mm. But that's good because once you decide to go again you save the the hotel so you just yeah. make your meals yeah the same happens to me <clears throat> if i decide to go to, to costa rica i got right oh no there. but costa rica is so expensive yes uh, yeah um i've been there like three times different time no oh my god i prefer to spend my money in other place but not in costa rica it's beautiful but mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, but I as, as I tell you, I ain't got no problems uh, in Costa Rica because... Uh, yes, uh, you have places. I, the money, no, the money yeah. is not a problem for him. <laughs> no, 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 it's just that I got... I, actually, I think I got more relatives in Costa Rica rather than ah. Mexico. Let's see. 
almost like the same. Well, Tangira Su is beautiful. I stayed yeah. also one week. I, I that was my first time staying a long time on a beach in Hako Beach. Oh, what's beautiful. Yeah, it's nice places. Well, interested talking to you guys, but everybody's like <laughs> sorry oh, to come interrupt. On, come on. <laughs> sorry to interrupt, but I needed to 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 support Roxana too. <laughs> well, you know. You don't know what beautiful means until you visit San Pedro, the island. Where is that located? Honduras, oh, right? No no, 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 the island, the island in, actually, I don't remember. The one that's on for Madonna? Last yeah, that one. Rosa. I don't remember that's Belize. Ah, uh, I don't know. Last, no, no, I guess it belongs San to Pedro. Belize, yeah. Well, you get from Belize to there. Okay, beautiful. let's look for it. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> Guys, thank you very next. much. Erwin. Okay. Yes, Roxana. Next time. No. Sure. Yeah, next time. <laughs> be sure, be sure. Thank you, Roxana. Erwin, okay. hello. How are you? Ready? Hi, teacher. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Here people talking about different spots, right? Yes. I am I was hearing a uh, all the conversations, but I I was riding my motorcycle, and maybe um, ten minutes no fifteen minutes ago I arrived to my house. Okay, and tell me, Arvin, what's the most beautiful place you ever visited? Your favorite place to visit? Well, um, if you are talking about local places. Um, I love El well, Cuco. Local or foreign places? Okay, in El Salvador, I, I think that we have a, the most beautiful places in the world. Um, I was uh, busy, well, I, I, I visit um, uh, Peru, Bolivia, and Venezuela, Panama, and Costa Rica. Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, and Mexico. But I prefer every time my local places. We have mountain, beautiful mountains, volcanoes, beaches, uh, a lot of things. And our uh, traditional cultures are the best too. Um, we only need to know about the, our, our customs. Uh, for example, I was talking with my my students about um, cultura turística. This is the 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 theme, the, the theme. Um, and I asked them, "Hey, what's the uh, saint of your? Uh, how do you say pat fiestas patronales?" Oh, it's festivities, but festivities. Uh, okay. uh, yeah, the same local festivities. festivities, local festivities. Yes. Okay. And what's your saying? And they are from El Puerto de la Libertad. And they told me, I'm, 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 I don't know. Okay. I am from Santo Tomas in San Salvador. And I know that you have two festivities. One is the main festivity the, and the other one is the second uh, or the and the second importance so you have two celebrities one is for san miguel arcangel and the other one is for la divina concepción de jesus or something like that uh, i am i am not a catholic but i know because i i love catholic the culture. catholic, catholic. Uh, but but i know because i love all my culture, all my cultural um, uh, knowledge, or todo lo, lo que se pueda conocer de la cultura. Yeah, yeah all my okay. cultural okay. knowledge. Okay, and uh, if you know, uh, if if you be interested about your you the are culture, you. Okay, if you are interested about the local culture and Salvadorian culture, you, you can discover that it's beautiful. And if you travel around the country, you 
are going to discover again that is a beautiful uh, country and that we have uh, the most beautiful places here in our country. Okay. So in El Salvador, I love to go to uh, the, uh, the beaches of the east part of El Salvador. Uh, I'm talking about Las Flores Beach, uh, El Cuco Beach, uh, maybe El Tamarindo Beach. And uh, I love to go to El Pital too, in San Ignacio and La Peña de Cayaguanca in, the, in San Ignacio too. And you have uh, the most beautiful views, landscapes, and the most beautiful sunset too. So uh, this is my point. I love my country. Okay, okay, interesting. Thank you very much. Let's see, Susana, where's Susana? I could have sworn I saw Susana. Susana, oh, there's Susana. Hello, Susana, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Oops, you got problems with your throat? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> No problem, no problem, Susana. Just listen, okay? No problem, no problem. That's fine. Okay, guys. Well, let's continue. Well, we got many activities today, but the first one was this, the speaking 101. Uh, let's see. I could read almost everybody. I was just missing. Let's see. Rebecca. And, oh, there's Fernando, Daniel. There's also Nicholas. That's nice. So I can get almost all of you here. Let's see. Well, uh, one of the activities we are going to perform today, well, as usual, we warm up like uh, doing conversations one on one, trying to get new vocabulary. And then we always have small conversations. I give you topics and we talk about it them, which is nice, okay? And let's see. Uh, let me see, give me just a second. I need to check on something. Okay, now, tell me guys, we are going to discuss a topic. Uh, how do you think companies should motivate their employees to uh, perform better, to improve their performance, okay? How do you think companies should motivate employees to improve their performance. Okay, guys, you're going to be, I will give you five minutes, you're going to discuss and I need at least one idea per group, complete idea, full idea, because now I'm gonna ask one per group, okay? So please build up a very strong idea and you're going to present it to me, well, to the rest of the class. You will have five minutes for this. Please, let's jump in.
Ambar. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. Live at home maybe at uh, before at six because <laughs> the traffic was really really terrible. Yeah, my my case is similar. This week I I work in the office, so I I had wake work call very early. Uh, 4 a.m. And, okay. uh, <laughs> and always I I running in the morning for took the bus. But I imagine that you stay awake since 1 12 a.m. because of the earthquake. Because what? Sorry. Because of the earthquake. I don't know. You have a different day of when you uh, have a emergencies or when and when you do some activities. In my previous job, I have a incentive incentive, but uh, I. Uh, when I finish the year to do a, or did a giveaway for the similar, uh, but with a, a travel because all the sailors to participate in different, uh, con diferente meta. Mm -hmm. uh, have my different goals for to win a travel and, and in the company uh, sería a uh, llevar a no sé, no sé, no sé. uh, one employee to in the all all the employees to decided uh, who You're so quiet, guys. Yes, teacher. <laughs> thinking, thinking. <laughs> Mom, maybe it's, are you it's, sure it's, with? It's... Continue, okay. continue. Okay. Yeah, Martha, ladies first. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Yeah. You're welcome. Well, um, after the, the training, it's very important to uh, better opportunity. Be how do you say a sense of teacher? A sense. Of, um, better like in the uh, like in the position. The position. Uh, it's true. Yeah. Can we just grow up? I'm sorry? Can we just grow up? No. No? No. Just change the position. Uh, we're talking about something different. Uh, work progress? Yes, we can say work progress. But there's a word. Or maybe so like, like get a better position. Yeah, no. 
promotion. Promotion. Yes. promotion. Yes. Yeah, because you get promoted. Uh, it, the the mm, sentence so. correct is get better opportunity to be promotion. To be promoted. Uh, mm -hmm. Promoted. Yep. Okay, let me go check the other groups. I'll be back. Uh, I think it uh, depends uh, of the, the, the company. The, the, how to say to teacher to differentiate the las áreas del, del, del trabajo, por ejemplo, empresas de servicio, empresas industriales. Job areas. Job areas. Yeah. Now, you can say yes. You can say locations also. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Eh, I, I think Anda, think que me pase de, la llave. Okay, everybody's coming back about now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, everybody's coming back from the breakout rooms. Just wait a few seconds for them to be back. Okay, perfect. Let's see, let's see, I got Erwin, Fernando, and Roxana. Erwin, what you got, guys? Tell me. Well, we were talking about the, the importance to motivate every day and every moment to the, to the employees in a company because, um, uh, first of all, they are the motor of the company. So uh, if you have a, a motivated team, uh, your company gains a lot. So it's necessary that you, uh, if you don't, uh, as, as, a, as a leader, as a team manager, you, you don't have the opportunity to give more money. Uh, just in, uh, uh, if you say some words as, hey, great job guys, or uh, something like that, uh, you can motivate a lot of your people. And it, as a result of this uh, motivation, they can improve their performance into the companies. So our opinion that it uh, all the companies should be that. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now, Frank, what did you discuss with your group? Tell me. Okay, teacher, uh, we have uh, several <laughs> ideas or strategies to motivate uh, employees, but uh, I think that one of the best strategies could be uh, if the company gives you the chance to grow in a professional area. Personally, I think that is one of the things that motivates a lot because you you feel like you are being, I don't know how to say, valorado. 
value. You have been value for the company. So uh, that was the conclusion that we, 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 we do. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Ana Claudia, tell me. Of course, teacher. We were discussing very interesting topics uh, with the group. Um, I remember, oh, I don't remember if it was the name. It was Marta. No, it wasn't Marta. I no. Forgive Martha me. Was not with you. No, what as was Amber and also remember me the other name. I'm to apologize. Stephanie. 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 Sorry, Stephanie. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> uh, Stephanie, Amber, uh, Nicolas, and me. Uh, we had a good discussion because. Uh, for example, Stephanie mentioned something very important, the bonuses that can be offered. Sometimes that makes people try to reach their goal and have an improvement. But also then Nicolas explained us that the trust is important because uh, when the employee trusts in the company values, uh, it works better, but also the, the importance of efficiency. Sometimes the tools or equipments are in the company, but if people is not prepared or trained on how to do a process, uh, you are not you don't uh, you are not effic efficiently could be used efficiently. Um, efficiently. Yeah, efficiently. Efficiently, and also, uh, and I was also mentioning that it's important the knowledge, the training, the knowledge of the product, because once you uh, know more about your product, it's like uh, you're prepared to use it or sell it to offer it, and it's a combination of all of that. We have a very good discussion with the team. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Marta. Hi, teacher. Tell me, tell me, well, tell me. Uh, we talk about the improve the performance. Uh, is an uh, incentive for time free, for money, for golf, for travel. Um, it's important to training for for your performance, uh, opportunity for flexible schedule, uh, get better opportunity, DP uh, promoter, uh, better salary, uh, clear instruction for better agility, the activity, uh, for example. Just that, teacher. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Well done, well done. Okay, let's see. Next, next, next activity. Oh, before we move on, let me please get the attendance a second time. Amber Elia Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez. Present, teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Erwin. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Apidio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. 
Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Susana. Sí. Okay, next activity. So I told you yesterday we were going to do a conversation from the manual. Okay. So let's see, we got, we got us here. Uh, Mrs. Wright and Daniel are talking about some issues with purchase, purchase orders. Read the conversation and take turns practicing. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy with the correct numbers. Well, here there's a typo. We have a copy of it with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Okay, guys, let me repeat for you. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of it with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Okay, guys. Let me... Hello, teacher. I'm just getting home. Perfect, perfect. Right on time, my friend. Right on time. Teacher, I have two questions. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's a different word, but I heard uh, maintenance and maintaining. I don't know if they are different words. No, in American English, you don't pronounce the T after the end. You say maintenance. Okay. Maintenance. Uh -huh, but I also heard maintaining. Okay. Uh, if you are British, you say maintenance. If you are from New Zealand and Australia, you say something like maintenance. I heard that too. Even even your mouth comes like a little bit wider because you go like main, main, maintenance. You see? In mm. British is maintenance. Okay. It's a little bit deeper and stronger. In American English is maintenance. Maintenance. Ah, okay. Yeah. And you the other one is a little bit less. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. And the other one is uh, uh, almost in the last paragraph before the last one, it's the word determine or determined determined sent to the Say finance department miss miss white the last interaction she has okay. well that, to the mm -hmm. to the finance department determine the wrong cost the term is not determined is determined no determined ed at the end determined determined okay thank you teacher you're welcome well, in this case, uh, yeah, the problem mm -hmm. here is that sometimes you have hear people from different countries, because yeah, yeah in American English you will hear the term, the term, the term. 
In my case, I said determined. <laughs> but is it correct also to say determined? Yeah. As it that is, is the most determined. I heard. It. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you have heard more uh, Americans. Uh -huh. Most probably. Uh -huh. Then be okay. glad you have never heard South Africans. No. <laughs> Believe no. me, be glad. <laughs> or people from the from the outlands in Australia, man, that's oh, a I heard one, language. and I was like, what? <laughs> yes. Yeah, people from the outlands they speak kind of. It's like people from Kentucky, they speak mm -hmm. nice, mm -hmm. a very <laughs> nice version of English. <laughs> Okay. I had the opportunity to talk with a uh, Irish guy. And Beautiful pronunciation. Complicated to understand. Irish, yeah, that's nice to listen to Irish people speak. Oh man, they get, it's actually, it's very nice. But I mean, remember that they also have an influence of Gaelic into their English. So uh, it's hard, it's hard for us. The problem is this, we are too used to listen to American English. Mm -hmm. I mean, for people in Europe, American English is weird because I mean, if you start, if you start talking with somebody uh, like uh, I got a friend, she's, uh, she's Portuguese. She learned English in, um, in Europe. Her English is British, British English. I got a couple of friends also who are, they are Spaniards and same stuff. I mean, they speak English, and, but they speak uh, the version, the British English. I mean, for them, American English is kind of a little bit of weird. Mm -hmm. That's normal. Remember, it's the same as Spanish, you know, Chilean Spanish is different. Argentinian Spanish is different. Mm -hmm. Guatemalan Spanish is different. So that happens with all languages. Mm -hmm. Also, Canada English is uh, totally different sometimes, some pronunciation. Yeah, and also depending on where in Canada, depending mm -hmm. on where on the States, I mean, mm -hmm. like, yeah. uh, like in one state of the United States, you can invite somebody to your apartment and you say, do you want to come up to my apartment? Mm -hmm. And in another state, you say, do you want to go up? Okay. Mm -hmm. And I mean, in New York, you can invite somebody to come up, but uh, uh, what in LA you say go up? My and goodness. you're expressing the same idea. Mm. But uh, yeah, it's like uh, if you talk with somebody like from uh, Boston, Massachusetts. Believe me, for me, it was the the hardest experience to be like translating for them into Spanish. Mm. It was hard for me. At that time, I was. 23 years old oh. and, and it was a very nice experience but as I tell you I mean when you come to accents be aware that uh, they change and on okay. top of that uh, that I'm a Latin speaker I mean I speak Spanish that's my mother tongue and you throw a lot of that into the mix mm -hmm. yeah yeah, but nice of asking. That's always good. Always <laughs> good. Never hesitate to ask. Okay. Perfect. Okay, guys. Let's do the conversation. Let's see. Let's see. Jump into the group, please. Now, Nicholas, I will send you to this room. There you go. Stephanie, give me just a second. I'll see what I'm going to send you. Six. Okay, there you go. Marilyn goes to this.
match the others. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. You have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's a fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid the three incomplete orders. I will send, by the way, teacher. Teacher. Your mic is off. You might, yeah, yes. my bad. Yes, tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, in the last, in the last uh, sentence of Daniel, I will send the documents to your department by five. Five is the hour, or is the number of copy? Yeah, by five, the hour. The hour. Okay. So, a la cinco. Yeah. Ah, okay. A la cinco. Yo pensaba que a la hora era to your department at the at the five or algo así. No, by five. In this case, it's saying, when you say by five, you are not saying the exact hour. You are giving an estimate. Okay? Oh. Around ah, five. Como a las cinco. Yeah. Oh, okay. A eso de. Okay. Okay, okay. thank you. No, when, you, when you are sure the, the hour, you said at 5 p.m. Yep, exactly. Like that. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, I will send the documents to your department by five, so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Yep. Okay. 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 Again, Daniel, I am going over some purchase orders, but the product received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet happened during the days the system received maintains. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents for your department by five. So you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Okay, I'm sorry. If you're going to use that accent, Fernando, the termine, the termine. The termine. The termine. Yeah, you go like the term, the term, okay? You keep mm -hmm. the, uh, the T, the term, the term, okay? The term. Say it in the sentence, please. Uh, the information sent to the finance department determine the wrong cost. Perfect. Okay. Okay. That is happened during the day the system received monthly, and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. Teacher, we have a question. Sorry to interrupt you, Maria. In that, is correct written in time? Is not on time? Uh, your department didn't receive the right information in time. No, it could be. It could be used. In this case, it can. Ah, uh, okay. In is correct. Okay. Yeah, but oh my, you made the loveliest of questions. Okay. On time, when you say on time, you're talking punctual, okay? Ah, okay. On time is punctual. When okay. you say in time, you're talking before, con antelación, ah. or with enough time. Okay. Got it? 
Got it. So, be, but before, for example, if I... Uh, I need you in my classes every single day on time. Okay? Okay. Okay. At 8 p.m., please, Ana Claudia. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you know it's currently uh, that I mean time to your class. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was, I, I have so many things to do today, but oof, thankfully I was in time for my class. So okay. I could connect like four minutes before. The I remember started. one day I connected one hour before the class. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, you were in Panama. Yeah, Panama. Yes, right? I was in Panama and I was so worried because it was 8 p.m. But I forgot that we were one hour behind. <laughs> That was so funny. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to say in time in this. Okay, uh, tell me, determine, determine, how do you pronounce it? The, determine, me, determine. Yeah, okay, now, say it again in the sentence. Uh, okay, uh, well, that's a fantastic, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determine the ground cost. Okay, I need you to hit a little bit, a little bit stronger the the T, the term, the term, the term. It goes like this: the term, the term, the term. Do it like this. Do it like this. Look what I do. Mm -hmm. The term, the term. Okay. Do it with the your term, hands. The do it term. With your hands. The, okay, <laughs> like that. Term, you see, it helps, right? The term. Okay. It helps, okay. right? Yes, a lot. That's a good tip. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Yeah, you know that trick. I don't remember who told me that. I guess it was when I was studying music. Ah, yeah, okay. That's why. That that's helps why. a lot when we need to emphasize the stress in one letter. Yeah. Determine. Determine. Yep. Okay, good. Then you go like. You can stress the first one, you can stress the second one, or you stress the third one. Mm -hmm. But it's also correct to say determine. We are using both right now. Yeah, but uh, as you are more interested in international English, use the term, the term. Okay, okay. okay. Yes, we are using Let's both right back. now. Let's go back to the main room next time. Okay, next time. okay. Thank you, teacher. So let's go back. Bye, teacher. Okay, guys, let's see. Almost everybody's coming back soon. See, everybody's here. No, stay one, but they're coming in two, one, zero. Perfect. Okay, guys, let's see. It was brought into my consideration a grammar aspect that I haven't explained to you. And I'm sorry, before we do the pronunciation, I would like to explain it. And it was brought by, by, by uh, a, a couple of ladies here. And let me explain it in a different fashion. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. Okay. In the in the text we got appears this appears in time. Okay. And the question I was facing was that the correct is on time. Now, 
both expressions are correct. You can say, oh, I, I'm always on time for my classes. And you can say, I am always in time for my classes. Now, what's the difference? Okay, if you notice, look at the examples. I am always on time. Look at this one. I am always in time. Okay, now, and when you say, oops, sorry. When you say on time, like it's the case here, we are talking about being punctual. Okay? That's being punctual. But when you say in time, it could be before the exact hour with time to spare, okay? This is before the exact hour. When you say on time, you're talking about punctual. Is it clear, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, it's clear. Okay. Yes, Remember, if you say in time, you're talking with enough time, con antelación, before it is too late, okay? In time. And on time is exact at the time. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's go. It's called to a punch, positive and punctual. Yeah, cool. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nicholas, you ready for the conversation? Yes. Okay, perfect, my friend. You're going to be working with, uh, let's get this ready, with Anna Claudia. Sure, who starts? Uh, let's see. You start, Anna Claudia. Okay. You are Mrs. White. <laughs> okay. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened. During the days, the system re re received maintenance, and that's why your department didn't receive the right information time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the ground cost as a result. Uh, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact uh, the company and ask for reimburse, reimbursement. Very well done. Excellent, Thank Nicolas. Thank you, guys. Frank and Maria Alejandra. Maria Alejandra, you start. Okay. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the product received don't match the orders. It is has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance, and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five, so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Okay, perfect. Just one little thing, Frank. Not yes. contact, contact. Contact. So you can contact the company. You can contact, okay. Thank you. Um, Amber and Stephanie. 
Who will start? Uh, Stephanie will start. Okay. <clears throat> Daniel, I'm going over some purchase. Pur purchase? Sorry. Yeah, purchase. purchase. Okay, okay. Daniel, I'm going to over some purchase orders, but the product received don't match the orders. This has happened in three times already. Ambar? Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance and that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. That, uh, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Okay, perfect. Reimbursement. 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 Perfect. Thank you. Roxana. Let's see, Roxana, you go with uh, Mr. Osorio. Who has start? You will start, Roxana. Okay. Daniel, I'm going over some putter orders, but the product received, but the product received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during, during the days the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department that, pardon. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpaid for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Okay, perfect, thank you. Let's see. Martha, you and Walter, please. Okay, who we'll start, teacher? You, Martha, you start. Okay. Daniel, I am going over some food charts order but the product received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the day uh, the system received a maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in Taya. We had a copy of with the current numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the, to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Okay, perfect, thank you. Susana, are you up for it? Yes, teacher. Okay, Susana. Fernando, what about you? Ready? Yes, I do, teacher. Okay, Susana, you start. Okay, teacher. Daniel, I am going over some purchase uh, order, but the product received don't match the order. This had happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened during the days the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of with the correct numbers. Wow, that's fantastic. 
the information sent to the financial department, determining determine the wrong cost as a result we overpaying for three incomplete order. I will send the documents to your department by file. So you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Reimbursement. Okay, yeah, reimbursement. Now, Susana, if you're going to go with that intonation, remember, it's the term, the term. The power. Determined, determined, okay? Determined. Determined. The E is very short. The is muy corto. Determined. Determined. Okay, perfect. Determined. Francisco. Ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, Rebecca, what about you? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, Rebecca, you start. Okay. Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the products received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Oh, I bet it happened. During the day, the system received maintenance, and that's why your department didn't receive the right information we have a copy of with the correct number. Well, that's fun. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determined the wrong cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the document to your department by five. So you can contact the company and ask for a reimbursement. Okay, thank you. Erwin and Jose Wilfredo. Erwin, you start, please. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay, Daniel, I'm going over some purchase orders, but the product received don't match the orders. This has happened three times already. Okay, I'll help you. Oh, I got it happened during the days the system received maintenance. And that's why your department didn't receive the right information in time. We have a copy of it with the correct numbers. Well, that's fantastic. The information sent to the finance department determine, determine the cost, the wrong cost. As a result, we overpay for three incomplete orders. I will send the documents to your department by five so you can contact the company and ask for our reimbursement. Perfect, Mr. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear teacher. Okay, guys, now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Give me just a second that I need to get something for you. Okay. Now we are going to talk about your jobs, okay? But we are going to talk about um, something out of the ordinary, this question, okay? What are the minimum things you need to do your work effectively? And then, do you have them? Do you usually have them? Or do you think that in your company some of those things are like difficult to, to get a grab on? Okay, guys, this is easy. So three minutes, you are just going to make a list of the things that you need to perform your job accordingly to the specifications, okay, of the position. So now let's see, groups are created, please jump in, two minutes.
Only that. Okay. Uh, Fernando, I don't know if you want to add something. Uh, for me, uh, I need for 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 do my job. The minimum the minimum things are a computer with microphone at least. I mm -hmm. uh, need a connection at least of five megabytes mm -hmm. and electricity, obviously. <laughs> okay. All right. And you? Okay, guys, let's see. Fernando, tell me, what are the minimum? What do you need for work? Uh, a, minimum, a minimum thing that I need is a computer with microphone at least, uh, internet connection at least of five meg megabytes, and electricity. Okay, perfect. Excellent, thank you. Now let's see. Uh, 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 um... Wilfredo, tell me, Wilfredo Guardado, in your case, mister, what are the minimum things you need to do your work effectively? A minimum. Yeah. Um, I guess my computer. The computer, that's mandatory. Yes, yes because ah, we, we can work we, without, if we don't have a computer and then, we need to, to have in, internet and, and another application to work. Okay, internet connection. Internet connection, ah, yes, yes, yes. Perfect, thank you very much. Now Welcome. guys, now we are going deep, okay? Personally, tell me guys, how would you define success? How would you define success? Let's see, Marta. What about you? Tell me, how would you define success? Well, I, I think so. Uh, could be um, two words, uh, finish your words. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Now let's see. Nicolas, how would you define success? What's success for you? Well, uh, I think uh, the success is, uh, for example, I have a uh, work uh, for today and I other 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 activities for example I am a ser empresario ser em okay uh, I, sorry teacher empresario you say si sí, empresario businessman ah businessman I am a, a businessman okay perfect thank you uh, let's see, 
Roxana, what do you think? How would you define success? Well, uh, personally, I think that uh, success is when you are in calm with your family, with your personal activities, and maybe when you are when you have a um, healthy mind or past mental. How do you say that? Peace of mind. Peace of mind, and you are uh, like a harmonic life. Maybe for me, it's a success. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, let's see, Maria Alejandra, what about you? How would you define success? Mm, I think that when you feel complete with all your goals or different uh, things you hope or you can be do or get hacer and you do in the different times or I don't know. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. And let's see. Erwin, what do you think? Um, well, I think that it's a lifestyle. Um, it's uh, the success is a, a kind of a kind of life that you decide to live. Uh, if you don't be conformista, if you are not. You are not? What was the word you say? Conformista. Mm. Okay. Uh, you can say conformist. Okay. If you are not conformist, you are um, looking for something better every day. So, this is my point that I said, it's a lifestyle. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now guys, we got another question right here. If you have your own company, what type of policies, dress code, workspace, workspace would you have? Let's see. Uh, yeah, Walter, tell me. Hello, teacher. Um, I'm going to give in the opinion the and the before question. Okay, perfect. No, for, for me. Uh, it is a, it is a all that you had, and with effort and sacrifice, and is a grounded with a good presentation and education the the people. Okay, perfect, excellent. Okay, but you Thank have you. all that you have made with your own sacrifice. Nice, nice point of view. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now let's see, if you have your own company, what type of policies would you have, Ana Claudia, tell me. Um, if I had my own company, uh, the dress code be, will be casual, the workspace will be the appropriate. For example, if uh, my company, um, the employees must have um, conversation with prospect or customers person by person, uh, they will have their own space or if they need to use or make contacts over the phone like I do, I must provide uh, the space. Eh, that's basically it. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. But what, now, what kind of business are you talking about? Uh, kind, what, your dream business? Mm -hmm. Yes, sales. <laughs> yeah. In her case, okay. sales is what she 
she feels the best on. Yes, yes, that's right. What about you, Erwin? Well, it's the same. Uh, I am talking about, I am thinking about a restaurant. So uh, about the dress code, it depends of the uh, kind of full kind of restaurant that I, I, I could be the owner. And about the policies, well, it depends of the, um, I, I think that the, the if the people uh, have respect about the, the the, the protocols and etiqueta, etiquette, etiquette, how do you say that? Etiquette. etiquette. Uh, I'm sorry? Etiquette. Okay, etiquette. Um, I don't have problems. Um, and I am, I, I, sometimes, or some people told me sometimes, hey, I hate that the uh, the personal of the kitchen uh, have some uh, tattoos, but I don't have any problems about that too, neither. So um, I think that my policies could be really flexible. Okay, I like that. I like that. Tell me. In. Okay. Uh, the kitchen staff, Erwin. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. Well, it's been an interesting, let's see, let's get colloquial. It's been a pretty interesting ride with you tonight. We have talked about so many different subjects and we did the vocabulary stuff with the conversation. Tomorrow we are going to work with a little bit of grammar, okay? We're going to talk about some clauses. It's going to be interesting. Believe me, it's going to be quite interesting. And But before moving on, let me just remind you that uh, we need to work on the platform. We need to finish the platform. And also to remind you that I have allotted some time for next week for you to talk about a uh, to expose about any given topic. Do you remember I told you the very first class? I wow. haven't forgotten. So you <laughs> will have between one to two minutes to make a small presentation. Any topic you want to talk about. If you want to talk about the weather in El Salvador, if you want to talk about economy, uh, I just told you no politics, no religion, please. That's always for hard topics. But uh, and no reggaeton. It's free. Yes, yeah, please. <laughs> Good point. Zero, no. zero, okay. money. But then you're free to talk about any given topic. So next week, starting Monday, if you are ready, it's okay for me. Just let me know beforehand, and I will give you your two, three minutes if you need them. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. I need to get the attendance. Final attendance. Teacher. Can you share with me the, the instruction, please, again? Because I couldn't hear you very well. The instruction for the for the presentation. Yeah. Two, three minutes, any topic you want. Okay. Okay. Simple. What okay. I'm going to be checking on is vocabulary. Okay. okay. If you remember last module, I was asking for fluency, but now I'm going to be focused in vocabulary because if you have noticed in this module, I have uh, introduced to you a lot of new vocabulary. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to be into this module. Okay. So. Okay, perfect. Be ready. Be ready. Let's see. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. 
Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Oh, Marta, please stay a few minutes. Nicolás Atilio Méndez. Elizabeth, present. Uh, Nuri Elizabeth López Perdera. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Excellent. Uh, Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Delman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Walter Mauricio Morales Arauco. Present. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. See you night. tomorrow. Bye, Roxana. Marta. Hi, teacher. Hello, Marta. Hi. Well, Marta, 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 we need to work, Marta. We need to improve the, 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 I need you to work on some exercises, okay? Okay. Let's see. I need you to work on some exercises, listening exercises, okay? Okay. Now, just let me check on some. Here we go. Okay, uh, I'm going to provide you with some exercises, some information that is going to be helpful for you so you can practice. Okay. And the idea is for you to do the exercises, to practice as much as you can, because I want you, I mean, you speak, you speak English. But I want you to increase your level of English. Okay? okay. Yeah. So I'll need you to start like uh, getting more focused on that. Now give me okay. just a second. Here we go. Now, let's see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just checking on something. I received two link. Okay, hold on, give me just a second. Okay. Because I'll give you the info but uh, uh but also the instructions okay okay i got it got it yeah okay perfect 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 so thank you teacher uh yeah no the idea is this uh remember something that helps us a lot uh to be confident when speaking is if we got enough vocabulary. And I think something that's kind of affecting you, right? That you want to express your idea, but perhaps you don't find the, the, the right yeah. word. It's correct. Okay, now, how do we get more vocabulary? Well, through conversations and stuff, but the first tool to 
the two skills that help us a lot in getting new vocabulary are listening and reading. Okay. Okay. That's how we get more vocabulary through listening and reading. So I want you in this week, if it's possible, to at least make one exercise per day. Okay. okay. At least one. It's not going to take you more than five from from five to ten minutes tops. But the exercise of being listening, it's going to, I mean, unconsciously, you are going to get new vocabulary. And if you do exercises, different exercises every day, there will be some words that is going to be, some words that are going to be the same. So with the pass of time, they are going to become part of your vocabulary. And, and you will feel confident of using them, of applying them in different contexts, okay? I don't tell you that. Take notes of all the words, the new words that I express in the class because sometimes I express uh, some of them are modestines and some of them perhaps you are not quite used to, to. You don't hear them too much, okay? Too regularly. Yeah. So yeah. I want you to go step by step. But, Marta, this is intermediate. So no more baby steps for you. I need you to take yeah. longer steps, okay? Okay, teacher, <laughs> I got it. And, and the way you are going to do it is to practice. So you need more vocabulary, listening, reading, okay? I got it. Okay. Thank you very so, much. No, no, no. My pleasure, my pleasure. And believe me, it's going to help you a lot. So please do all the exercises, uh, work in the platform, that helps a lot. Remember that in the platform, we got more vocabulary that can also be helpful for you. Of and course. any question, please don't hesitate. Ask me, I'm here to, to help you with any doubt that may arise, okay? Okay, thank you for your help, teacher. I, and, uh, and I know that it's hard for you to solve your job, but 10 minutes in a brief yeah. time. I, I mean, yeah, I it's try. Going to take out, it's going to take your mind out of the work. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's better for me. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes we say, oh, no, I'm going to take a break. And you go and perhaps prefer uh, get a glass of juice, but in your mind, you're thinking about the job. Yeah. And this it's is going correct. to help you. It's going to disconnect you. Because you're going to concentrate yeah. on something different. Okay. <laughs> okay, teacher, I try. <laughs> Thank I you know it's going to work for you. Advice. Really. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Marta, always a pleasure having you here. Thank you, teacher. No, good night. Have a good night. Take care. Okay, see you tomorrow. See ya.
Well, I guess it is about time. Ah, not just in class. Very interesting. We will see tomorrow. Tomorrow we have something nice. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.